You want to create a numbered list in Excel? You can do this using the fill handle. But let's use a newer function in Excel 365, the sequence function. The sequence function in Excel is used to generate an array of sequential numbers. We are going to create a numbered list just using the first argument. So I have a list of 10 items that I want numbered. For my rows argument within my function, I'm going to put 10 and hit enter. And that numbers my list 1 through 10. That doesn't seem much different than using the fill handle, so what's the big deal? Well, let's up our game and add another function or nest a function within the sequence function to make it more dynamic. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. And this time, when I start my sequence function, instead of specifying how many rows that I want to number, I'm going to go ahead and use the count a function. So I'm nesting this function, count a. And I want it to count how many items that I have listed. And that's in column B. Now I could specify the range that I have, B2 through B whatever it is, but I want this to be more dynamic and change as I add or delete things. So what I'm going to do is click in the column heading area, and that throws in B through B. I'm going to go ahead and close my parentheses, but we notice I have in B1, I have a heading, Tools and Supplies, so I need to make sure that I subtract one row. So it's going to be minus one just to account for that heading. And now I do need to make sure that I close my parentheses because you always have the same amount of close parentheses as you do open parentheses. I'm going to hit enter. And now it looks like it did the exact same thing, right? But watch this. Now if I were to delete a row, it automatically renumbers. And what if I were to add something? Then it's automatically adding to my numbered list. Now you have one more tool in your Excel toolbox.